Good evening and thank you so much for choosing Acadiana's News Channel at 6. The city of Lafayette is part of a national debate about immigration. Today, the U.S. Senate rejected a bill by Senator David Vitter that would crack down on so-called sanctuary cities. That list created by an anti-immigration group, which recently added Lafayette Parish, joining New Orleans as the two Louisiana areas to make the cut. Now, Senator Vitter's bill would have cut funding to these so-called sanctuary cities that he says are breaking federal law. In Lafayette, the jail won't hold a person simply because they're suspected of being an illegal immigrant. They require a judge's signature to keep the person behind bars. As Micah Hatfield reports, the issue is dividing two agencies in Lafayette. Lafayette City Marshal Brian Pope claims the sheriff's office is making his job more difficult by not detaining suspected illegal immigrants. They, they have a policy where they're not holding them, so they get released. A warrant comes about, we can't find them because they don't have the proper addresses or uh, information. We asked Pope to give us a number, how many outstanding warrants he has because of the issue. He said 611. That happens to be the number of Hispanics with active warrants. Some could very well be U.S. citizens. These individuals aren't technically immigrants, say they're actually U.S. citizens then we would be held liable for that detention. We would be limiting their civil rights. That's why the Lafayette Jail won't hold anyone without a judge's signature. Director of Corrections Rob Reardon estimates 99% of the people who come through the jail are U.S. citizens. I know it's a concern to people in maybe the area, but it's not that big a group of individuals that are coming through the jail to begin with. Nothing against the hardworking people that are doing a good job here in town, but the ones that are committing crimes are the ones that are causing problems in law enforcement. In Lafayette, Micah Hatfield, KETC, TV3. Now that Sanctuary City's topic has also become a campaign issue in the sheriff's race. Two weeks ago, you'll remember, City Marshal Brian Pope did hold a news conference accusing candidate Mark Garber of traveling to Honduras trying to encourage illegal immigrants to come to Louisiana. It's an accusation Garber, though, calls a blatant lie. Pope is supporting Chad Leger in the sheriff's race. And there are two candidates fighting.